Math in America. Boring! Hey guys, it's Coke from Math Challenge. Now before we get started on this video, I just wanted to say a quick disclaimer that this video is not intended to talk badly about kids in America or any teachers in the United States. This channel is quite the opposite. I want to think of ways to help uh, improve math education in the United States and sort of close this achievement gap that we may have between the kids in Asia. So that being said, uh, the trend in America in math continues to sort of be on a decline or be stagnant. There's data back from the early 2000s that our math standards are below the global average compared to the um, scores in Asian countries, which are all above the global average. So being a Japanese American, I just wanted to quickly talk about some of those differences. Now you might say that the population size between the US and Japan are totally different or the socioeconomic status between the wealthy and the poor are not really comparable. But today I wanna to take those factors aside and talk about specifically about the math content that's being taught in the two countries. So just getting started with uh, math in America, it's all about learning a skill set. And specifically, I want to talk about a third grade example where they're learning to find the area of a square. Now, first of all, kids are going to learn that the area has four equal size. And then they're probably going to break up the square into little units and find out that in order to find the area, they have to multiply the side by the side. Now, they'll do um, 10 to 20 questions that look like this that's on the screen. And, you know, what really follows from there? And it's sadly nothing. So kids learn the fact that the square um, has four equal sides and they learn that skill set and practice it and memorize it, but it doesn't really expand anywhere from there. So that's sort of where the buck stops. Now, let's compare it to how kids in Japan will learn it. Now, they might learn it the same way. You know, they learn that the square has four equal sides, and then they'll do those uh, practices that uh, emphasize the skill. But math in Japan is all about connection. So they'll do a problem that's very, very similar to something like this on the screen. Now, this problem asks us to find the area of the three uh, individual squares, right? Hmm, that looks really hard because none of the side lengths are actually given for um, any of the actual individual squares. Now I'm gonna fast forward in and explain the problem. Now they have to actually connect that the square has four equal sides, therefore that the blue length, the side of the middle and then the corner square are equal in length, same as the pink lengths. So once they are able to connect that, then they understand that the bottom length, which is 25 then, which is in the blue line, is equal to the red line, which is the middle uh, square, which is equal to 25 as well. And then once you know that, you know, the length of those three sides, then you can divide it by three to find the length of one of the sides. But anyways, to get to that, the, um, there's this productive struggle, right? And this mathematical journey that the kids have to go on and say, okay, the squares are four equal size, but what does that tell me about the problem? And then to be able to actually find that connection and then to use their math sense and then divide that by three to get the middle square, that takes a lot of work and patience. But that's exactly what math and kids in Asia do is that they practice patience, they practice productive struggle, and that's why their math skills are elevated to a next level compared to the kids in America. So just in a quick nutshell, if kids can do more problems like these, where they're thinking outside the box and they're actually making these connections, I feel like that the kids would really understand math from a deeper perspective and get closer to the level that the um, Asian kids are at. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.